we're using a similar technology that the spatial analytics technology and we're applying it to other places. For example, we, we just rolled this out for a government agency to improve uh, support for uh, patrons that are coming into one of their kind of uh, retail type site where they're trying to improve customer experience and queue times uh, using AI and analytics to do so. So a lot of great ways that you can start seeing that, you know, we're working together to supply uh, not just the infrastructure that we talked about, not just the the hardware pieces and parts, uh, but really full stack solutions. And we do a lot of this through our collaboration with uh, software partners um, at, at Lenovo, we call it our AI Innovators Program, uh, but that's in direct collaboration with the, the software partners that Intel's working with that we've qualified on our, our joint solution stack. Uh, we've got over 60 companies that we've enrolled in that program today. So a lot of great ways that we're enabling enterprise AI uh, with, our, with our unique approach. And just, you know, Tony, to go back to your last question about the right mix of AI, um, you know, for enterprise organizations, you know, you've got to you've got to right size the the solution, not just the software, not just those components of it and the services, but even the infrastructure. If you if you're kind of over specking the infrastructure, it could break the business case. And so, you know, Intel's approach with one API of, of program once and then deploy if it's you know inferencing, it's a small language model inferencing or a small computer vision model. You know, you can run that today on Xeon, get great performance. If you need acceleration, you've got Flex Series um, that you can deploy that to for inferencing. Or if you want to do training, you can go into something like uh, you know, the Gaudi product line. So really being able to right size the infrastructure uh, to customize these solutions because they're not one size fits all uh, is the reality of it. Yeah. And interestingly, just thinking of the use cases to go back as you were talking about the various use cases, I wanted to call out like you, you talked about, um, you know, for instance, optimizing your pit stops, which I'm assuming is done offline. That's not something you're doing on the fly. And that's something that you could do use like Intel's Getty platform uh, as part of that workflow. Um, I think that's somewhere where we partnered with you guys. But then also you mentioned crowd control and being able to direct traffic, which is a, a real time use case of AI. So it's not just a again, not a one size fits all where you guys are saying, hey, I can use AI to do this offline analysis and come up with a solution. But you're actually saying you've been able to deploy a real-time AI solution in practice 